assalamu alaikum students uh, how are you all i hope that you all are great and uh, today our lecture is related to chapter 3 that the name of the chapter is expansion and factorization of quadratic expressions and your book is a new syllabus mathematics 2 and today we will do the practices which are given in your book before the exercise all right uh, before starting the lecture students i would request you that kindly subscribe my channel and uh, by subscribing the channel you can get more help regarding your subject okay the practice now is okay you have to solve these expressions while solving the expression you need to remember one thing and that thing is that you can just solve like terms together like terms mean like terms mean the terms whose variables are same who have the same variables as you can see that in this question both are having x square so both variables are same so you can solve this expression because this is the like term you can solve this term because this is the like term so whenever you are having the same variables with the coefficients you can solve those expressions and those expressions are called like terms as uh, you can solve 4x and uh, 2x you can solve it because both are having the x variable you can solve 7y and 2y you can solve it because both are having the same variable you cannot solve if i say that you are having uh, the first uh, term is of x and the other term is of y you cannot you cannot solve this because this is not like term this is unlike term because the variables are different so like terms are those terms which are having the same variables and you can solve those terms but you cannot solve unlike terms unlike terms are those terms which are having different variables i hope that you are clear about like terms and unlike terms and in this question all questions are related to the like terms so whenever you solve the sum of addition and subtraction um, in algebra remember that first you have to see the signs with both numbers here this is minus sign and this is plus sign i hope that you are you know that when you multiply plus and plus you get plus and in the same way when you multiply minus and minus you got minus and the same way you got when you multiply plus and minus you got minus and the same way when you multiply minus and plus you got minus you have to remember this table that when you multiply uh, when you multiply similar uh, signs your answer will be plus and when you multiply opposite signs your answer will be minus so just need to remember this to solve these questions all right plus minus c this is minus and this is plus plus uh, minus plus it is minus so what you will do the operation that you will do is subtraction the operation that you will do is subtraction and 4 minus 2 is 2 remember that don't forget to put the variable which is with the both terms and that is x square now after solving it or after applying the operation you have to see the bigger number and you have to put the sign of the bigger number with the answer here you can see that the bigger number is 4 the bigger number is 4 and with 4 it's minus sign so that minus sign will also come with the answers and this is your answer minus 2x square okay now let's come to b part and b part is minus 4x square plus minus 2x square okay remember that whenever you are having two signs together here you can see that you are having two signs together whenever you are having two signs together you have to multiply those sign and uh, you write minus 4x square as it is and plus minus plus minus minus when you multiply these two signs you will write it remember that in this case when you do add addition or subtraction you have to see the signs and you have to apply the operation of addition and subtractions but when you having two signs together you have to multiply and you have to write that what will come plus minus minus you will write that it is minus and 2x square now you will apply the operation of addition and subtraction because both numbers are having a uh, single sign all right this is minus and this is minus 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 plus minus minus plus so which operation you will do you will do the addition you will sum up these both numbers and 4 plus 2 is 6x square and again at the end you have to write the sign of the bigger number so bigger number is 4 and with 4 it's minus sign so you will write minus Okay, now let's come to C part. 
फोर एक्स स्क्र माइनस टू एक्स स्क्र और राइट here with 4 where where there is no sign it means that that number is having plus sign here this is plus and this is minus plus minus minus plus minus minus and what you will do you will do subtraction 4 minus 2 is 2 and you will write the variable and add then you have to write the sign of the bigger number and with 4 it's plus sign so there is no need to put plus sign with the answer there is no need to put plus sign with the answer and this is your answer all right now let's come to d part ओके जी एंड डी पार्ट इज फोर एक्स स्क्र माइनस माइनस टू एक्स स्क्र फोर एक्स स्क्र माइनस माइनस टू एक्स स्क्र यस अगेन टू साइड्स हैव कम टुगेदर मल्टीप्लाई दीज साइंस फोर एक्स स्क्र माइनस माइनस प्लस सो यू विल राइट प्लस मैन एवर टू साइंस कम टुगेदर मल्टीप्लाई दम एंड राइट वट विल कम माइनस माइनस प्लस सो राइट प्लस एंड टू एक्स स्क्र Now see the sign with both numbers. It here it is plus and here it is plus. Plus plus again plus. So you will do the operation of addition. You will do addition. Four plus two is six x here. Now write the sign of the bigger number, which is four. So with four it's plus sign. There is no need to write plus sign with the answer. All right. Now e part. Two x here minus three. Two x here. Minus three minus x square plus one. All right. As I have told you at the start that you have to solve like terms together. Like terms mean that both terms are having the same variables, and both terms can be constants. And here this is constant and this is constant. You can solve constants together. This constant and this constant are like terms, and this x square and this x square is the like term. So first, write the like terms together. With signs here it is two x square so write two x square and the other like term of x square is x square minus x square so write minus x square now write constants these are also like terms minus three and this is plus one write like terms together this is the like terms and these are the like terms now solve these and uh, first see the sign. With two it is plus and here it is minus plus minus minus it means that you will subtract two minus one is One, so there is no need to write. Okay, remember that no need to write one with the variable. If a variable is not having any number, it means that that variable have is having one. So whenever you are having one with the variable, no need to write one. Just raise it. Okay, at the end you have to write the sign of the bigger number. Bigger number is two. Here it is a plus sign. No need to write plus sign with the Uh, any variable or number because when there is no sign with any variable or number it means that that is already having a plus sign so no need to put plus sign now solve these terms these are also like terms this is minus and this is plus minus plus minus so it means that you will do subtraction if you will do subtraction 3 minus 1 is 2 3 minus 1 is 2 now write the sign of the bigger number and bigger number is 3 and with it is minus sign so write minus sign over here so this is your answer I hope that you are clear till E part. Now I explain you F part. All right. Now the F part is five x square plus. Minus x plus two minus minus two x square minus three x minus four. Okay, the very first step is wherever the two signs are coming together, just multiply those signs. And here you can see that here two signs are coming together, multiply them. And here two signs are coming together, multiply them. All right, this is five x square. Plus minus minus x plus two minus minus plus minus minus plus so you will write plus two x square minus three x and minus four right left over terms as they are all right 
now write like terms together and uh, see which are the like terms i have i have told you that the like terms are having the same variables or they can be constants so this is having x square and the other term with x square is this so these are like terms so write these like terms together 5x square plus 2x square okay uh, okay next term is x okay this is x term and the other x term is this so these are the like terms so write these terms uh, together minus x and minus 3x remember one thing whenever you write like terms together don't forget to write their signs so this is minus x and this is minus 3x okay you're done okay now the constants are left so constants are also like terms this is 2 and this is 4 now write like this write these terms this is plus 2 and this is minus 4 okay now solve like terms together plus plus is plus 5 plus 2 is 7 x here okay this is minus and this is minus 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 plus so which what you will do you will do the operation of addition 3 plus 1 is 4 x and uh, you know that first you write the sign of the bigger number the bigger number is 3 so with 3 there is minus sign you will put minus sign over here and minus minus plus so you will do addition you will do the operation of addition when there is uh, no number with the variable remember that when there is no number with the variable it means that that variable is having one so minus minus is plus you will do addition three plus one is four so you will write four x don't forget to write these variables as they are given in the like terms okay now let's come to the next term which is plus two and minus four plus minus is minus so you will do subtraction Okay, G. and first write the sign of the bigger number. Bigger number is 4 and with 4 it's minus sign. So you will write minus sign over here. And as uh, plus minus minus, you will do a subtraction. So 4 minus 2 is 2. Here this is your answer. I hope that you are cleared till here. Okay, G. thank you very much.